Uh, at what point did you and Jim first discuss his ideas for The Way of Water and the subsequent Avatar sequels? And were you excited about the idea of returning to play Jake Sully and The Two He Wants More? Um, I think that when we were shooting the first Avatar, the conversations were more hopeful. If we do good, like, this is what I would probably do for the sequels, but nothing was ever solid until 2013 when he reached out and he said, fellas, I have begun writing the sequels. This is gonna happen. Wait for my call, stay tuned. Um, and then in 2015, separate calls, uh, he had us come in and walked us through the journey of what he was planning to do with Avatar 2 learning that it was also going to be in Avatar 3. And then as we were walking out, in reality, it's five movies. Yeah. It's a saga. And we're like... Yeah. At that time, it was just a story. <laughs> it was just a cool story that he had evolved. It, was, it wasn't split into movies. It was yeah. just his story. Yeah. Awesome. So how has the passing of time informed your approaches to the characters specifically? How has the fact that you now have your own children influenced how you play the role? I think you get inspired by your children. You're not, say, using them, but the, the feelings that you get as a parent of being protective. Um, of being of afraid. Being fearful, yeah that, yeah. that comes into play, and I think Jim tapped into that because he's a parent too, so it's kind of a personal journey for him when he wrote it, and I think that kind of comes across in how Jake and Natiri are approaching the world. You know, you, they were, they're reckless warriors, but now they have a responsibility bigger than them. Yeah. Um, I, yeah, I just how relatable they are as parents. Um, we needed that. We needed to see a father just do anything and everything to keep his family safe. And, um, and a mother that is doing the same thing. And they're trying to be each other's voices of reason um, as they're battling their fears. And, and when do you do the right thing? And when do you go against each other? Because you disagree in the, in the whole process of parenting. Everything about the Sullies is absolutely relatable and, and so needed right now. So was it challenging to find the character after, or characters, after so much time away from playing them? Or did they come right back to you like an old friend? You know, the parts of her <laughs> came back. And then I was reminded that I was older, <laughs> that I couldn't do certain things that Neytiri could do. Um, and, then, and then other parts were completely unrelatable, you know, and then I had to acquire a brand new set, uh, you know, of skills. But here's, here's the thing, like Neytiri's journey and my journey and my personal life are, have been very parallel in the fact that I, I knew the sensation of fearlessness um, and anger, you know, when you're younger. And um, and then as a mother, I, I was experiencing that sensation and it was very new of being paralyzed by fear and having that incompetence, that sensation of incompetence, like irritate you, frustrate you. That's what Neytiri was going through. So I just did not want to get in the way of that. And um, and it's funny because Jim, Jim really challenged me. I mean, I feel, I feel like Jim, Broke me in a in a way because he 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 was like you can't I, I I won't let you get in this in her way she has a journey and you just have to trust the process but I think it was my inability to admit to feel to to sit in that level of discomfort because I, I it was so re relatable mm. in my personal life so I am so in love of how different Avatar: The Way of Water was that it felt like a brand new experience of, you know for me that I, I learned and I grew so much out of you know. It's too hard for me to answer. <laughs> <laughs> um, so what was it like to reunite with the actors uh, from the first film? probably each other in particular. Uh, and what are you both like as scene partners? Do you kind of approach the work in a similar way? I, I think we all approach the work differently. I think that's the great thing about a, a troupe of actors, especially ones that know each other very well. You, you allow each other to have their own process. And, mm -hmm. and the great thing about Jim as a leader is he understands that too. He's not trying to imprint his way of directing onto you. He will you know, listen to Zoe and, and take on her style and her approach and, and same with me. And then especially with the new people coming in who are, uh, are new to the, you know, the, the, the way that we create these movies. So we've, you know, from Kate down to uh, Trinity, you know, yeah. they've, you know, this is Trinity's first film. So she's 
you know, completely different and completely raw to all of us. But his approach as a, as a leader is is genuine and, and respectful, and um, and it's yeah, you know, it, that leads that kind of respect leads to a, a very nice film set. That's true. Awesome. Um, so, what is the threat that ultimately forces the Sully family down this new path towards meeting uh, the Metakiana clan? Apologies. For the Metakiana clan. Yeah. Yeah. No, no, it's, well, okay. it's, it's the threat of war again. <gasps> Makes these this family become refugees almost. Um, obviously, Natiri doesn't want to leave her homeland. Oh my god. She she doesn't want to become quite literally the fish out of water, um, and but at the same time, they don't want to see their sons emulate their father and their mother and go into battle and, and potentially die. So, you know, Jake in a weird way has to become a pacifist and uproot everything that his wife knows and, and believes in and, and represents and take them, you know, far whereas, away out whereas of safety. she sees it as like, you're, you're, we're cowards. How, how yeah. do we walk away from this? So they're, they're really... Coming at it from two different points of oh, view. Oh, yes. Yeah, to, of how to seek sanctuary for their family and why. Final question, how would you describe your on-set rapport with Jim? I love Where it. Where to begin, man? <laughs> Where do we Where begin? To begin? You know? It is, it's, it's, uh, it's multi-dimensional. It is selfless, um, never personal. And when it is personal, it is absolutely safe. You know, but he does challenge you. He will challenge you um, the same way he will accept your challenge. And as long as there is a great level of respect, um, what wouldn't we do for the common goal of, of making art, of telling a great story? Um, I've, I only feel inspired. I only feel repurposed working with someone like Jim and his crew. I love him. He's fearless and he makes me fearless. And yeah. He's always surprising. <laughs> yeah, he's, and he's in the trench with you, which is yes, what you he want. Is.